Two Minneapolis restaurants have been named to the New York Times 50 most vibrant and delicious restaurants in 2021. Suki and Mimi in Uptown and Owamni by the Sous Chef. The Sous Chef is a nonprofit aimed at revitalizing and re-identifying Native American cuisine. Today, our Jason DeRussia discussed the honor with founder Sean Sherman. Sean, congratulations. New York Times, top 50 restaurants in the country. Pretty amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was a beautiful way to wake up this morning. What was your reaction when you found out that you had made this list? Uh, it was hard to let it all set in because, I mean, we, we were just trying to do what we believe in and we just, uh, you know, got this restaurant open and uh, it was completely unexpected. So I'm still kind of reeling it in. One of the things they said about you and Dana and your partnership and your effort uh, with the sous chef and with Awamni is that your uh, passion and commitment to the cause of advancing indigenous food is matched by your uh, skill, your culinary skill in preparing it. I thought that was a pretty cool statement. Thanks, yeah, and I just, you know, I really believe that we have such a great team. Um, you know, we have uh, a lot of uh, indigenous people on our team and it's just creating a lot of opportunity and uh, couldn't do it without them. You know, I've eaten at your restaurant uh, twice already. I know people will be uh, wondering if this is gonna make it even harder to get a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do take walk-ins, but yeah, the reservations go as soon as we put them out there. Why do you think that is? Why do you think your restaurant has resonated so much with people? Uh, you know, I think that it's just been building for a long time, obviously. People have been very curious and, you know, we just happen to be one of the only restaurants like this in the entire nation at the moment, so. I feel like there's just a, a lot of interest and uh, we, you know, we cross over with many different interests. You know, some people like forage food. Some people want to learn more about the native culture or the land that they're on. Um, and uh, yeah, we're just hitting a lot of interests. I think um, some of our viewers may not uh, fully understand exactly what the mission is of the sous chef and specifically of Awamni. Could you explain kind of what the vision is behind the restaurant? So we just try and elevate um, indigenous foodways, cultures, diversities, and really showcase how we should be thinking about North American food with all of our cultural diversity, all of, our, all of the culinary diversity that should be out there, peeling back kind of the colonial layer and just realizing that people have been here for, you know, so long, for countless generations. And there's so much amazing lessons to learn from indigenous peoples that are still here today. Um, and we're just trying to give a lot of opportunity towards indigenous uh, producers and uh, workers in this industry. Part of that means there are certain ingredients that you have determined are sort of off limits for you guys. What, how, how did you determine what those things would be? We just tried to remove ingredients that weren't really from these areas, um, just to showcase that there was so much uh, food around us. And, I think uh, what we've omitted is just as powerful as what we're using because um, we have a lot of wild foods too, but we cut out dairy, wheat flour, cane sugar, um, and even beef, pork, and chicken just to showcase like there's so much food and flavor all around us. So utilizing wild foods and native agriculture and just all sorts of wonderful stuff, you know, wild game, fish, you name it. Do you sacrifice in flavor? I guess I know what my answer to this question is after <laughs> eating there, but uh, what's your answer to that? No, we have plenty of stuff. You know, there's all sorts of fruits. There's all sorts of uh, things that are sweet and bitter and tart. And there's all sorts of wonderful produce. We use, I feel like we use a lot more plant uh, diversity in, in our menu than a lot of places. Um, and there's just a lot of things to explore. You know, even crickets on the menu. Don't scare people away with the cricket talk. <laughs> <laughs> it is, I, I do think that on, on one respect, your restaurant is very much of this moment, right? People are interested in connecting with the native land. We just had Indigenous Peoples Day. There is an awareness, I think, that perhaps there wasn't. But I also think you have been working on this for so long. You know, maybe this is a moment where Indigenous food uh, can have its time. You've hit the right time. But you've been building to this for gosh, at least a, a, a decade of active work, but for your whole life, right? Yeah, it's just been building. So I grew up on Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. And after being, you know, moving to Minneapolis in my young 20s and working in restaurants and then becoming a young chef and then realizing the complete absence of the story of indigenous peoples anywhere, especially in the culinary world. 
And, you know, so we're hoping that this can resonate and hopefully we'll see more and more indigenous focused food businesses all around the nation. What does it mean for Minneapolis to have your restaurant on this list, to also have Ann Kim, Suki and Mimi on the list, two of the 50 restaurants the New York Times is highlighting right here in Minneapolis? I just think that shows, uh, you know, how amazing Minneapolis is, especially with this food scene and how progressive we can be. Um, and, you know, we're, you know, we're going to be bringing a lot of people. We're seeing already seeing a lot of people flying in just to try the restaurant. What is that like? Um, doing our best to juggle reservations as fast as we can. <laughs> but, you know, we just really want people to experience of what we've created. And, you know, we're just trying to do something completely different. So it must be incredibly well meaningful, but uh, also stressful if someone is coming in, flying into town just to try your food? Uh, you know, we just want to treat all guests coming in, local or not. You know, we just want to treat everybody with respect. And, uh, you know, we just feel like we have something new to offer, something different to offer, and something important to offer. Yeah, it's delicious, too. I think you guys Thanks. are doing terrific work. We don't need some fancy New York <laughs> Times article. I, I can tell you you're doing... <laughs> What about us? Nobody cares what we have to say, Sean. <laughs> well, I appreciate all the support from everywhere, of course. For sure. Very good. Well, congratulations. We're really happy for you. Thank you so much. I'll hopefully see you down there.